wow, this has changed even in the hot minute that I last did this. Um, welcome, I'm Jocelyn McClellan. I wanna get right into this today. Um, if you haven't seen my tutorials in the past, I'm over on Instagram, on Facebook, here, and I have tons of different tutorials. So I am gonna do my hair after. I'm actually gonna do my hair on Instagram. So if you see me ever do and using this teeny tiny hair tool over on Instagram, that's what I'm gonna go do after. This is day two hair. Um, I had used this, but I made all the curls loose because I was really hesitant <laughs> of making tighter curls. But what I'm gonna do um, is go through on another tutorial and make this so that I do have tighter curls going on through for day two. Normally I don't mess with my hair on day two. Normally I just kind of style it up, but we're gonna do that. But today I wanted to walk through my application. I got my sunscreen. My application for my makeup when I do, my, do it on my own. Usually a lot of times I'm just sitting there and I'm um, kind of teaching and educating as I go as the why, but I wanted this one to just kind of be like me going through the flow of it so that you can kind of see what I do. And I have my phone propped up so I can't see all the comments, but just know, leave a comment and I will be sure to answer after the fact. So I use my sunscreen as my primer. I actually stopped using primers and powders and setting sprays and all that once I like discovered that if you get a sunscreen that is for your skin type, and it's one that actually works with the skin type too. Like this has that tack that a primer can give you. Um, on my blog, it's called, um, my blogs, if you go to fitmissionmakeup.com backslash or slash blog, and there's one that's called Sunscreen Guide. And I keep that updated and I try out a crap ton of different sunscreens. I actually, for that one, I tested out sunscreens for a really long time. Um, but it, I discovered something I wasn't planning on. So, welcome! One of the best things that you can do is subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and um, refer like refer people to me. If you're one of my peeps that you know how much I've been around here for a lot of years, lots of tutorials, um, and you know what kind of guidance I get when it comes to um, makeup, then you'll know how much I love it when um, you feel that I have that extra something, something to offer your peeps. And that's makeup. But there's more to me than makeup and hair. Um, I was telling my, I can't remember who it was the other day, that I was like, one of the hardest things with social media is I feel like I can't fully like show who I am because um, if I were to do a video that showed things more like personal, especially on Instagram, well, actually here, the algorithm is so used to you doing makeup and hair that it really doesn't show um, those things about you to to other people, really. And so, oh my gosh, a message popped up, so that's how I can see him, which means you guys can comment all you want because I can see it. Hi, Tyler. How are you? Dude, this will be fun. Comment all the things, guys. This will be awesome. Heck, maybe I'll just start doing all of my lives over here. So I have it. This will be saved in my lives section here on Instagram. Um, so it doesn't sit with all of your videos. It sits in the live section. And then I started doing um, my shorts over on this page. I actually had created another page for it, but I was like, I don't like this. It's too hard for people to actually find my stuff. So I started posting my shorts. Um, over here. Hi Tracy, what's up? I love this. All right, so I'm gonna go through, I have my sunscreen, see, you gotta give it time to dry, and it feels that tacky, it actually feels ready to go. I have my eye primer on, I put my brow, this is, any product that I use too, if you want a link for it, you can just ask. What's up Debbie? But this is a clear brow gel, so I actually don't do a colored brow gel, because I like my brows to look pretty, pretty basic. Um, and so after that, guys, I'll go in and add a brow pen. A brow pen is what you want instead of a pencil if you're trying to get it really sleek and to the point. If you're trying to show have more brows, then you can use that. I'm just gonna continue on because I'm doing my makeup, how I do my makeup, and I'm not using this one to like fully educate because when I fully educate, these turn into really long tutorials. And I want you to know that like I hustle through things a lot more than that. So I'm going to, believe it or not, Add, oh wait, 
You can never do this if you don't have a multitask of brush candy. Because what I do is I ride my, um, I don't really go into the inside too much, but I ride along the lashes. I just have it sit on the lashes. And then I go in after and I blend. So by doing that, it makes it so that it's like not so noticeable. So I just take my brush, either side. I'll take this side today. And I just blend it out. You have to do it when it's still wet. And then it allows you to, that you had it there. It's not wiping it off. It's just making it so you don't have a harsh line. And that's how to see the difference between the two. So that's what I'm doing today. And the reason why I'm doing this first is because today I want to keep this a pretty neutral eye. So I put on my eye primer from Sigma and um, it has a tint to it, as you can tell. I love Sigma's eye primers. They actually got rid of the color I put on, which breaks my heart, but you can use, the color I put on was called Sorbet, but you can use, there's this one, I went and looked into it, cause somebody told me that the link didn't work that I was using and so I went and looked and I'm like, bro, you don't even, you don't even have this anymore. That is so rude. It was the best color. Um, hi, Tyler, you asked if it does samples. The answer is no, and you wouldn't want samples. They have a 30 day return, um, uh, return policy. But um, the reason why you wouldn't want samples is because you, you, you need to try it a couple times, but you also need to get familiar with me to ask me questions if something is off. The thing about a cream foundation is that it's different. Um, it, I would be stupid if I didn't say it takes a couple times to really like get in the groove of it because we're used to wearing way more makeup than we need. So I'm going to put on this little brown one right there. Um, we're, we're used to using way more makeup than we need. And so you're, Tyler, you're going to watch how I apply today to try and make it quick and to the point, but I want you to hone in on how I use my brush work. Um, a lot of times, like I have a liquid foundation here next to me that I could show you. People will take a liquid and they'll really sweep it on the whole face. They'll get a good amount, they'll sweep it on the whole face and then they'll take a sponge and they will um, sponge off excess, right? My goal for you is to never, you to, for you to never need a sponge. And it's not because like, um, like sponges are not necessarily necessary when you start realizing how much makeup you don't need. So I'm just going to get this onto the brow bone because that's actually how you can camouflage hooded eyes and all that jazz and um, even it out, which it's not wanting to even out on this one side. But the um, they don't have samples also because each color is $16. Like that's pretty big, amazing and the quality of it, I would definitely put it up there with all of my all of my high quality makeups, I would definitely put it up there with. Um, the other thing that's important too, is if you do the sample, you really couldn't use the brushes and that is killer important for you. Um, I am going to put on my mascara and then we're gonna um, rock this out. Oh, and my brows, I can't forget that. So I just wanted a really neutral, natural eye today because today, I just want it. <laughs> I put on um, more fun, like, you know, more fun eyes all week. And I just really want to, this outfit that I have on is from this company called The, Fo the Foxy Kind. And it is biker shorts and this like comfortable material. It is the most amazing, I'm obsessed with it outfit. It's ribbed. And it just is long and flowy with biker shorts that are not restricting and just, it is the best. And I keep, I kept tagging them and stuff. And so they reached out to me and they gave me a code and I was like, what, what? I didn't get to ask at reunion, but how do you suggest, oh, the message disappeared. I wonder if I can find it again. Nope. Poop. I'll have to answer that one after this is over. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get it to it quick enough. So I'm just going to do my brow really fast. 
So I build them like a boomerang because if you have too high of an arch in the center, and then when you bring it down, it can make your eyes look droopy. It can also make you look like you're questioning things all the time. But if you build your brows, so I have one brow that's higher on the one side. How do you suggest contouring cheeks with hyperpigmentation? You contour in between the hyperpigmentation. You'll see me do it over on this side. So anytime you have melasma, a sunspot, a, um, a, an area that is already ashy. So hyperpigmentation, melasma, sunspots, they all have an ash to them, whether you can see it or not, they do. And when you go and put an ash, because contours are ashy, when you go and put a, 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 conti, a contour on that's ashy, it makes it so that uh, you're just adding to the ash. And so what we do is we work around it. So you're gonna see me do that. Okay, first things first, I always add warmth to my face. So let me show you this. So say it comes, you can have your palette, whatever size you want. It can be small or it can be bigger. I have a bigger because I love packing around the extra things because I love the extra. I don't use them all every day, but I love the extra. So I'm gonna take this baby right here. This is actually suede lip liner. I use it like, say it's so versatile. I use it as my bronzer because it doesn't pull me as orange because I just feel like with my tones where they're just so, I like to call them white. Don't come at me, all you people who are like, there's no white tones in the face. I do this method where I call it the white piece of paper, um, yellow piece of paper method. And I actually, this is how I teach people with matching tones. So you know how when you're shopping, look at that, that already. Like that already, just by adding warmth, you start to realize how little of makeup you need. Oh, my AC kicked on. Okay, isn't that crazy? So I'm gonna put some bronzer on the chin and along the jawline, especially because right now I have tanner. So my face is a lot lighter. I don't put tanner on my face because of melasma. I turn too blue, turn too ashy, I don't like it. So I skip it and I just do double duty of that. So I'm actually gonna pull in this, um, it's called uh, Heat Waves. It's actually a bronzer for if you have really dark complexion, but it kind of has this redness to it and it works well with my skin because I have those blue, anybody who has melasma and stuff, it would work really well with because of those blue tones that we pull. But anyways, I'm more of the white piece of paper. And how I say that is because if I were to put a white piece of paper next to my face or yellow, I would be closer to the white piece of paper. And you know when you're shopping for um, foundations, there's ones that are definitely more yellow and ones that definitely feel more white. They just feel like they don't have as many yellow tones in them. Okay, so for the reason why I teach that is because like I could go into this theory with all these big words that people use, but I really like to like break it down into smaller. And so when if you're like that white piece of paper like me, then if you are using like too much of warm stuff, you just really, really pull warm, even though I have blue tones in my face. But these, this, these red, like from the heat waves, it just does see how, even though it's so dark for really dark complexion, um, my girl who is from Samoa, she used, this is her, color, like her bronzer color. I don't, it just works really, really well. Okay, so just by doing that, it's like, wow, you're almost done. Like you, right? It just makes such a difference. But now let's say I want to add in that contour. So I don't know if you can fully tell, but this line, it stops here. And then this like comes down into here. And then I have this bunch right here. And then again, back in here. So if you take a brush, I'm going to do mine. I'm going to take out my contour. And I just sweep it out this way. Everything else I dab, but the, but my contour sweep because it's stronger and I take it to the key places I want to apply. So if I have melasma hyperpigmentation back there, I would just go to, and it, literally you're spotting it on. I would just skip the area that it's that the hyperpigmentation is at, and I, I like this bronzer. I love this bronzer explanation in tips on selecting blush, yes. So then I just, it evens it out perfectly because you skip the area that you um, need it. So. I don't need bronzer here. I need bronzer, or not bronzer, sorry, we're using contour right now. I need contour right here, 
and you contour it right there. And then you contour it right here because mine kind of shifts up here into this little section. So I'm just going to do it on the back side. And now, look, it blends in perfectly. So the more you're trying to fight against your makeup, the more you're not helping yourself out. And why not help yourself out? And then you have this beautiful application. Sorry, I can mention your comfort outfit again. It's called The Foxy Kind. Go to Instagram. It's The Foxy Kind. And I have a code, um, Jocelyn15. And they have this in a dress version, so it doesn't have the bike shorts. They have the bike shorts. They just came out with brand new colors that just relaunched because they already sold out yesterday. So I, ha I personally have it, and I bought these all with my own money. I have black, brown, and they're gray. And then I have the dress, and then I have a long, flowing, fitted dress. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, moving on. Picking blushes. So I did a live this week on blushes, but this is my dumbed down version of picking blushes. Go into your, your um, closet, okay? Normally in your closet, you're gonna find colors that you normally wear for like, cause you like the colors on you, whether it's pastels or warm. Um, but go pick out a purple, an orange, and a pink. And put lay it across your face, face a window, and take a picture. Or er, across your face. Lay it across your chest, face a window, and take a picture. Okay, take a picture out like this. Don't take it down here. Don't take it. Face the window straight on. Just like when um, I color match for free, I ask you to face a window, take a picture facing a window, so that I can see your foundation, or your, your face colors. So there's no shadowing, stuff like that. Do the same thing for that. You're gonna then go back and look at those pictures. You're gonna find that you, I'm gonna use, I'm keeping talking here. I'm gonna use Renaissance. This color is leaving after this month. It is my all time, probably in the top three colors that Saint has ever put out. It is my favorite. Okay, so you're gonna take a picture. You're gonna go look at those. And I'm actually gonna put a little on my forehead, believe it or not. Cause luckily for all of us, the style right now is pulling a little warm in areas and just you wait and see we're so spot on and gorgeous got it thank you for rematching um your, your outfits from you're so welcome um but take those pictures and then you'll be like oh, i look i look really good in pinks i look really good in purples i look really good in reds i look really good in oranges and then i in my color match packet that i give my customers i have it broke down into neutrals um or yeah neutrals because that's in the orange realm um, reds and per pinks, pinks, and you can kind of pick from there. But I'm always swatching, always swatching, um, and that will help too. And then I just swatched a ton on Instagram, my live on Instagram. It, if you go to all my posts, it will say live, um, and I made my own palette for that. I got my match for me for Demi, and I'm excited to try. Not sure if I should try Demi first or 3D. What do you recommend first? I always always recommend 3D first. Get your handle on 3D because. You're gonna see me use Demi now, and because Demi is a read of her own. I'm not gonna go a ton into de Demi detail because I have tutorials on it, and we don't want this to be too long because <laughs> it's already 18 minutes. But um, Demi is just correctors. You can just put it in key key places, like key places that you want to troubleshoot your dark areas. Let's see if this lets me zoom in. Heck yeah! So if I just want to come into my darker areas, Demi allows me to do that. Creasing under the under eyes is a thing that is only there because you have on too much makeup for your skin type. So if your skin type, if you have a lot of texture, which you guys can't see my texture, if you have a lot of texture, you are going to um, see your makeup like way more, right? And the more and the more it will crease. But if you can neutralize out those colors by using such minimal makeup. And every time you touch your face though, you're spot on. See, people always think I'm going like this. And that is not what I'm doing. Every time I go in and touch my face with Demi, it is with intention to take care of the darkest area first. So once I take care of the darkest areas first, see how that just neutralized it out? That's so cool. But I would start with your 3D foundation, get in the hang of it because what I know is that the less makeup you use, the better. And it is the craziest thing. So before I like dive into Demi too much, I wanna finish up my face with now my, my foundation colors. These ones right here. 
because I want to show you how fast that this can truly be. So this is my color corrector because my, my nose is warmer than other areas of my face. And so is this right here. I want to, this is my problem area. It's not because the makeup is splotchy. This is my melasma and all of that. I want to work with this and I'm going to avoid the eyes. This is how I help you with your makeup. Take the areas that you can be the fastest on and do them first. If you apply your makeup as you and blend out as you go, it allows you to know exactly where it needed to be. I switch to another brush and then I go in with a little bit lighter color and get the color that wasn't as dark as that and I go into that next. So I never touch up the eyes themselves until the very very end because our eyes is where we need to spend our time so make everything else go fast okay try and stipple on the nose instead of sweep and then do a little bit lighter color here and along actually with this brush because i can go faster along the jawline i'm going to clean up that line the jawline we can be fast and we can sweep because we don't have like normally Unless you have a sunspot, you can be just faster there across the board. Okay, I'm going to line my lips with my multitasker brush. Oh, the two brushes I'm using is the 3D brush and the blend brush. In the color match packet, those are the two. And I tell you to get the spot brush. That's that black brush I was using, but yours won't be black. Mine, since I'm an artist and I hit some um, goals with Saint, I got the black brushes. I like teaching with them though. So I get my face all gussied up before my under eyes because it allows me to see that what I thought was a distraction isn't so much of a distraction anymore because I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna take care of you right there and take care of you right there, we're done. And notice I haven't even put anything under my eyes yet. I can avoid all that, it's crazy. So on my lips I put nude and now I'm gonna just put summer love over the top. Again, we're just going through her like neutral laziness today. All right, so now we're just gonna go to eyes. So I'm gonna take care of, whoa, oh, wait, one thing I didn't do. I'm gonna line eye hair. Cause I don't like that skin to be bare on myself. That's just my personal preference. You do you, but I don't like it. So I just come right in there. I also don't really put, sometimes I will, just depending on my mood. I don't really put, um, I have to lift up always. And then I clean it up with some makeup. I don't always put mascara under my eyes sometimes, but I, when I do, it's just the outsides. Okay, I found this, I was just looking at my face. Oh, there you go, my dear, happy to help. And if anybody, if you ever need a color match, y'all, you just go to fitmissionmakeup.com and you can submit your color match there. I would then tell you what colors are best for you. I do, like, if your style, if all you want is blushes and eyeshadows, just say that in the comments of the match. If you want the whole kit and caboodle, just, I'll do it normal for you. But if you just want to hone in on, like, foundation colors, that's it, and then maybe a couple things, you don't want to contour, you don't want this or that, you don't have to. You get it. That's what's so cool about saying makeup. You build your palette however you want. You're in control of that. Okay. So with Demi, I actually use one for, for the most part. One, two, three, four, five. I use five colors under this eye because this is color theory. Not because Saint with Saint makeup you have to, but because with color theory, you're taking care of the area and the color for what you have. Not because we made it so that that's how you have to do it, but that's because that's how color science is. So when you have all those pigmentations like I have, you will use more colors under your eye, but it takes care of the color for what the color is, which makeup hasn't been able to do for us. So that's what's so awesome about Demi Correctors. And I do have a video here, it's new, on YouTube that is doing 3D and Demi in just key places. And you can use Demi on sunspots, 
You can use Demi on under eyes. You can use Demi on rosacea. You can use it on um, green under eyes blue. Look at how that's just green though. Isn't that so cool? It is, it is seriously like, and so then right now, there's this one area right there. Actually, this is probably more blue. So what it what I do is I go to the area for what it is and how I know if the color's right. You'll guess just like I did. When I match you for it, I'll tell you what colors are good for you, but then you have to do the work. I'm not going to tell you what color to put exactly where, and there's a why. And the why is your skin changes all the time. Like, um, grand fast, they say out within minutes. Yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they do. Um, your skin, like for example, this in here is always purple, um, but this week it's been blue. And so I've been having to put O1 here, but normally I put Y01. And sometimes this in here today, I didn't put any o a Y1 because it wasn't purple, it was blue. And I think it's from allergies. So since it's changing, if I tell you what color to put where, you'll be like, Jocelyn, this still isn't working, you'll return your makeup and you'll say that it's because the makeup sucks. But it's because that isn't the color that was needed there and it can switch. And that's what we have to remember. So then I just take the small end of my blend brush and I go to my brightener and I just do one dab and then I come to the outside and I just press that in because I kind of turn purple and this this just cleans it up and neutralizes it out and gets in there and then I never um, I never have to overlap and I don't get crazy I'm gonna to come to the inner of my nose because I didn't do that. I and mean, this is with my brightener. So I'm not in where I, I'm not in under the eye. Okay, and then I'm just gonna top things off with um, balancing this out. And this is just, nothing's on it. I'm just making sure I'm blending this point in really well since I took a little bit of foundation there and just polishing it off with blending. I'm gonna take a little bit of summer love on my cheeks because I it doesn't show up much. It's just more neutral, natural, because summer love is a translucent color. And there is my makeup. So I just have a super natural look. It's so easy, but it's easiest when less is more, less is best, and you work as you go. Um, and that's why though, I hate, I personally hate it when people just get one, this brush because they see a lot of artists just talk about this brush. But this is why I troubleshoot so much is because people will just buy this one and they'll use this a lot. And this, notice how this one's white on mine. I only rarely use it when I'm trying to hurry really fast, but every time I will get creasing when I use it, but I'm just like, oh, today we're just gonna be fast. And I didn't have to, I didn't throw on Demi that day because I was just being so fast. I can definitely do this without Demi. But look at how cleaned up my under eyes are. It's my favorite and I do not get creasing, period. The only way in your under eyes you will get creasing is if you're using too much makeup for your skin type. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. If, and you're like, I'm using the minimal amount, but just, just yesterday I troubleshooted with somebody that are like, I'm using minimal amount and I still get creasing. How she was using it, she kept, um, she was, so she put it on her end, but she kept pulling it. Notice how when I went in, it was very on point to the spot. She kept pulling it, so when she'd pull it off, she was taking all the color that she had gotten on the tip, and she was distributing it in that way, so then she'd pull, and then she'd feel like she wasn't getting makeup on, so she'd get more layers. And she'd go in, and she'd be pulling. She'd feel like it wasn't doing anything, she'd get more layers, she'd pull, and she didn't feel like it was doing anything, and that type of thing. But when you come in, on the tip only, and you come at the tip and you grab the darkest point, and you just mess with the darkest point until it's taken care of, you shouldn't see any coloring. If you still see coloring, if you have to turn this end over ever, 
that means that you started out with too much. So I always tap my skin before I do it so that I don't get too much when I do that. What do you think? What do you think? So I um, am going to be going live on here more on easier because it is just getting too hard with Facebook and Instagram. So if there's anything that you want to see, feel free to message me and say, hey Joss, I know in your lives you were saying that we could reach out to you and tell you what topic we would love for you to touch base on. If you give me even background for your skin so that I can um, dial in more, I am more than happy to do that for people. Um, I have to you would have to take turns and all that jazz, but I am more than happy to do that for people so that we get, because um, somebody who has an issue, other people are having the same issue. I mean, we're all different, but yet, we're like, oh, my under eyes do that too, or this happens to me too, or something like that. So you are not alone at all. But I'm gonna let you go. I hope you have an incredible day. Like I said, reach out for me anything. If you want a custom color match, I'm always here. Fitmissionmakeup.com is where you can go for the custom color match, and I'll get you taken care of. On the weekends, I'm, I um, do not answer emails on weekends, just so you know. And I am a little bit slower depending on the weekend. This weekend being Mother's Day weekend, if you're watching this live. Um, I will be with family, so I might be a little slower with color matches, but that's all right. We got this. Okay. Take care. Have a good one.